Even at the beginning of the year, João Mendes, the son of the legendary Ronaldinho, probably felt like the happiest young guy in the world. He's 18 years old, he is a Barcelona player, he lives in this fantastic city, and his prospects seem to be endless. But the year 2023 is coming to an end, and everything is fundamentally changing. Today, the Inside Football Channel will tell you the terrible truth about Ronaldinho's son, which we were all certainly not ready to discover. The transfer to Barcelona seemed natural. Joao was praised from all corners of social media platforms. You've probably also noted some videos that dwelled upon the boy's incredible talent. Maybe even on our channel. A football monster prodigy or just a talented prospect really deserved such attention. He himself made it to top football and the youth level. Especially popular is the story of Ronaldinho's son coming to Cruzeiro's trial and introducing himself by name, without revealing himself being the son of one certain Brazilian magician. This story alone definitely deserves respect, as the boy proved his football skills without using his main trump card, by the way, winning the selection for the team. All that followed next was a step-by-step -step progression through Cruzeiro's youth academy. Goals, impressive skills, and the first big name that fell to Ronaldinho's son through the hype created by social media platforms. As soon as the first info about Ronaldinho Jr.'s move to Barcelona hit the media, people's expectations were skyrocketing. João Mendes, the new magician, will become a Barcelona player and continue his father's glorious deeds at the Camp Nou. With such headlines being all over the place, Barca's coolers believed that a future superstar was coming to the capital of Catalonia, and the president of the club, Juan Laporta, drew even more attention to the boy with the following statement. The kid has a talent and we are happy. We we'll like to maintain this relationship with Ronaldinho. The pressure on the boy is great because Ronaldinho has been one of the best in history. The son has pressure, but it's the job of our coaches that he can develop his skills. And indeed, when you join Blaugrana at such a young age, especially with your father not only being a local legend there, but the guy who is officially recognized as one of the best footballers in the club's history, it's not an easy task to withstand all the external pressure. Since you are not someone's son, you are the son of Ronaldinho himself, the great and powerful. So, when the transfer took place at the beginning of 2023, enormous attention was paid to the then 17-year-old prospect. Needless to say, the event was covered by absolutely everyone, even Fabrizio Romano. Top Barcelona journalists and media wrote about Joao Mendes. The first reaction from local journalists was quite pessimistic to say the least. This detail is very important in our video. In the tight circle of the Barcelona media, it was believed that this move is a tribute to the greatness of Ronaldinho from Laporta's side. The president and the club's legend have always had a perfect relationship, because it was Ronnie who returned Barca back to the world football elite. Journalists, having seen a lot of impressive La Masia talents over the years, didn't see anything special in Joao that only put pressure on the boy. The debut take place behind closed doors, as Barcelona U19 squad played a friendly against Pierce Manchester United in a 3-1 defeat, which resulted in Joao earning reviews of praise. Ronaldinho's son Joao Mendes shines on his Barcelona youth debut, the Daily Mail wrote. With that said, it was impossible to get at least some fragments from that meeting, so we had to take their word for it. Then we got his full-fledged media debut, with the footage of Joao Mendes' performance in a Blaugrana shirt getting leaked online. It happened at the Mediterranean International Cup tournament, where Ronaldinho Jr. was involved as part of the second U19 team, Juvenil B. This was the first thing worth paying attention to. After training with Juvenil A, Ronnie's son was transferred to the second team, apparently with the aim of adapting him to La Masia football. Let's go back to the debut. It was a cut with several fragments that left football fans shocked in a bad way, though. And this is Ronaldinho's son? 
Sam Heldes was the most insulting comment reaction to Junior's debut in Barca. Rivers of criticism poured in, after which the club seemingly decided to stop shooting and publishing footage of Joao's performance, so that the youngster could calmly focus on adaptation and progress. However, the photographers of that tournament actually found Ronaldinho Jr. their most desired target. In one of the matches, we counted seven photos with Joao. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A real star of the team, but a media star. Mendes then dropped off the radar, only appearing in the summer when the game of Ronaldinho's friends facing Roberto Carlos' friends took place. At this level, he felt it very easy to handle things out. It was rather a pleasure walk, not a football match. One thing is for sure though, Joao had a great time and even played alongside his old men. Here, by the way, Ronaldinho gives a pass to his son. A historic moment that many football fans dreamed of seeing. During this match, Joao has taken the central midfield position and managed to show himself as a very creative individual. Check out a fabulous pass he made here, don't you agree? By the way, Joao and his dad won that match against Roberto Carlos with a final score of 4-3. But was it an impressive display for Ronnie's kid? Rather no than yes. Nonetheless, very recently, in November, Ronaldinho's son played for Juvenil A against FC Damen. In general, it's worth noting how well he combined attacks on the right flank. Here he connects with the right flank. Here Ronnie Jr. once again makes a classy and quick decision, and here he already finds a partner in the penalty area. Sometimes his decisions were pretty mature, as for example in this clip, when he assessed he was being attacked by two players at once and decided to continue the attacking attempt through the midfield. Sometimes he went for bold dribbling, but there is still work to be done here. Luckily, things got much better in the next one. What a cool trick, right? Also, he almost delivered an assist, but his partner shot past the target. Moreover, he himself almost scored, having passed the defender perfectly, but the shot headed right at the goalkeeper. On the positive side, we will also add that Joao is slowly mastering the local ticket taka doing short passes with his partners. Ronaldinho's son was good at pressing his opponents, managing to take the possession back on rebounds. There were good actions in terms of ideas, but unsuccessful in execution. Here Ronnie also lost the ball, although he could have saved it by giving it back. And in this one, it seems he himself didn't know how to continue the attacking attempt. Sometimes Junior's performance lacked individuality. Even in those moments when he had the opportunity to go for a dribbling and elevate the situation, he couldn't beat the opponent's defender and gave a pass back. Joao could have become a game changer in this clip. Beat the defender with his left and shoot. But again, the ball is lost. At some point, there was also a situation when Mendes was brought into the killing spot, but his speed and determination let him down. All in all, if we thoroughly analyze this game, we can conclude that Junior has taken some steps forward and already understands the requirements in the new team much better. But the Kotlan press still remains merciless towards the boy. Here's what FC Barcelona Noticias journalist Ariel Molina writes about Joao Mendes in an article titled Ronaldinho's son has not just shown at Barca. Since joining FC Barcelona, Joao Mendes, son of Ronaldinho, has not managed to stand out significantly in the youth ranks of the Blaugrana club. Additionally, in a team with numerous young stars, the Brazilian is struggling to stand out and has had limited minutes so far this season. And this is how Ariel described his impressions of Joao's display versus FC Damen. Although it showed flashes of quality like the precision in the pass and the vision of the game, it did not reach to mark differences in the band. With three parties contested this season, adds a total of 89 minutes in the terrain of the game. Joao is initiating his career in Barca with some that another good performance, but still remains a lot of way by in front to give the jump to the stardom. In other words, the terrible truth about Joao Mendes is that he has not yet lived up to the expectations placed on his shoulders by both Barcelona and its fans. As a result, his Barcelona dream could end very, very quickly. 
16-year-old Lemin Yamal, who plays in Joao's position, by the way, is already a first-team regular. Moreover, the Kotlans have recently recruited Mali U-17 star Ibrahim Diara, who is also a direct competitor of Ronaldo Jr. While Barca Athletic already have Lucas Pacharaman or Noah Darvich, who can also take this position and whose prospects are much greater. So friends, don't be surprised if Barcelona decide to try to find another team for Joao in the near future, the team where he can get more playing minutes. Yes, maybe it'll be alone. In February, Mendes will turn 19, and these may mark a very important stage for the boy. Either he will be able to demonstrate his best qualities, or his paths with Barcelona will part forever. Which we really don't want to happen. Let's hope that Joao will please us with his first goals for Blaugrana very soon, and thus silence all criticism. Press the like button if you wish him the same. Friends, we invite you to our Fanatico channel where a new video was released about the match, after which Barcelona decided to go for Vita Roque. A video worth watching, that's for sure. We highly recommend watching and subscribing to the channel. The Inside Football was with you. We watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit!